Hello, Cindy here. Whoops. <clears throat> Hello, Cindy here with Create Your Own Luck in Love. Really quick, I wanted to go live because I see this coming up a lot um, with women, whether they talk about it or not. And men might be experiencing some of this too. In fact, I know they do. So I wanted to share about, you know, let's just say you're connecting with someone online and, you know, he seems interesting and he wants to get really close really quick. He doesn't even know you. He's talking about falling in love, exclusivity, you know, you seem to have a similar vision, but you don't know each other. So this can be a slippery slope <laughs> in all ways possible. Number one, because there are, you know, there are unfortunately some people online, catfish people, that aren't actually real and that are trying to to um, prey on um, you know somebody's vulnerabilities so the the flip side of that the um, so how do you but you know let's just say you're connecting with someone and they're moving really quickly you're feeling pressure and you're you're in this place where you you don't want to not get to know them, but the connection doesn't always feel good. Like, for example, and I'm going to read a, uh, a letter that I received from a um, from somebody who reads my blogs and and watches lives. So this was this was her situation, and so my. The thing is, is that this can feel uncomfortable because a lot of times as women, we want to go into people pleaser mode. We want to make someone feel comfortable and we'll go into this, this place that's crossing a boundary and it, you know, especially too, if you haven't maybe been dating or if you haven't been involved in a while, even if you have been, it's easy to slip into this, especially if you're someone that's known to slip into people pleaser mode, which I have definitely been this person in the past. So let's, let's do this. Okay. So I connected with this woman and she wrote, um, she wrote really vulnerably, so I'm, you know, for her protection purposes, I am going to say, you know, her name's Jen. And she connected with this man who is um, in the army overseas at the moment, and they have been connecting through Google Hangouts and for the last few months and he's going to retire after a long time in the military and so she gave me some background on his life but this isn't what's important um he he would leave so they haven't met in person because she lives in the states and he lives over there right now he's been a he would leave her romantic messages and he said his goal was to get her to fall in love with him. And she had said, well, it's difficult to do when you don't know somebody, which is true. And he doesn't give a whole lot of information about himself. So she had shared, I feel ready for love, but I'm, I'm reluctant to you know really fall in love with him just simply because she doesn't know him that well and there's a 10 hour time difference between them so um he 
had he had asked her the other day if he could they could talk and she asked when he was available and then he said something to her reply that um, I'm busy sometimes and she can't answer right away so he and he also doesn't like if the time that she you know she doesn't answer um, within a term certain time frame sorry she's not happy about this um, and then he sends romantic messages again she doesn't know how to reply or what to say you know she says thank you so here's the deal I'm gonna take these off now um, I needed this to read so basically that you know what I'm hearing there is a form of manipulation is pull me in close tell me how great I am and then if you don't do what I think you should do ie control then there is a a put down or a questioning like um, maybe you're not ready for love maybe um, maybe you don't really want this so this is a major red flag because that's a, a big sign of control and somebody trying to control your feelings and emotions so here's the deal number one do not commit to anyone you've never met in person number two and and we don't know who this guy is he might be real he might not be but it's continue to connect with other people and date please 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 do that and if somebody starts do acting in that capacity set boundaries because if somebody is truly manipulative or truly a narcissist or truly just trying to get something they are not going to like your boundaries so they're probably not going to like it if they, if you say hey you know i'm i'm pretty sure that you have a life you're really busy you have other things as i do too i have never you know i'm not going to be the person that answers right away so if that's what you're seeking that's not me <clears throat> um, if you are looking to continue to get to know each other and start to build a friendship and once we meet we can see where that goes great I also like I don't like the idea of anything starting long distance if you've never met before and you're starting long distance, I would say for the most part, that's a recipe for disaster. Can it work? Yes, but it there's just we have so many other obstacles in life and in the world. And I'm talking real long distance, like several hours apart or, you know, in this case, you know, continents apart, things like that. You want to look at your life and look at what your capacity is and why that would be okay with you and what your vision is. Do you have a vision to stay in your area and have a partner that you guys grow life together in your area? Awesome. Then make sure that you are staying connected to that vision. And, you know, something to do as you are dating, connecting, relating, you know, have the, the trust in your heart that it's already happened, that you are experiencing it now. I know this might sound a little out there, but, um, and you've already created this amazing life. So visualization, I'm a big fan of, um, and taking the action because, and that is part of manifestation. But if you're in the energy of wanting, needing to fill that hole, you know, feeling that loneliness, feeling that feeling, and it's, it's the energy of lack and the universe and 
energetics it it gloms on to that so you're constantly going to be in this almost chasing energy and that's why sometimes when even if you're dating a guy and you really like him and you want him to call because you know that you shouldn't be reaching out to him and or you did reach out and he hasn't called you yet you know there's all these feelings and you're so focused in on it I really want this to work I really want this to work it become it's the energy of lack and men feel that energy so you know going back to what this this woman who's super smart because she was talking about well it just doesn't feel right and you guys if it doesn't feel right there's an intuition around it and there's signs like you know what if you're you were yet a new friend that started acting like that that they wanted to be your best friend super quick they barely knew you they wanted to spend all your you wanted you to spend all your time with them return their calls immediately how would you feel probably feel a little trapped and like maybe they need to get some other friends <laughs> and they have some other issues happening so start to look at it from that perspective and have gratitude in your life for okay I already have an amazing amount of love the relationship that I want it's there it's there and envision it and know have that confidence that it's there because that energy alone which isn't the lack like oh I really want this and it there's also resistance around it too because if you want it you're feeling lack you're also feeling resistance so if you you know it's kind of like when you're um you're saying oh let's go to this you know really cute restaurant for um for dinner and you know you say to one of your girlfriends okay done i'll meet you there in two hours there's no resistance around that so when you think about resistance it feels hard so if you can and part of this too is doing the inner work to emotionally open your heart to receive love and you can literally work in your feminine energy to do that so i hope this has helped you um, I just wanted to shoot this quick video. I know some people are, you know, are challenged with this and, and right now, especially with all kinds of online activity happening. So um, let me know, drop a comment in the box. Let me know, did this help? Have you experienced this before? And um, just say, yes, this is me, I've been there or I am there. This has helped. Awesome. It lets me know that how I can support you in the future. Lots of love. Have an amazing day.